Hi, it's Bob Mayako, and today I thought I would give you a virtual walkthrough of the newest listing in North Evergreen. It's 30084 Roan Drive in El Pinal. It's a home I'm going to put in the MLS later today. And because of the sort of stay at home order, I know not too many people want to be out and about, um, you know, actually kicking people out of their houses and, and uh, going through and walking and touching things. So I'm going to do it for you and uh, tell you a little bit about this property. So El Pinal is in North Evergreen and, uh, it, and Roan is right in the heart of it. It's super close to a lot of things. So yeah, let's say you're, this is a real showing you and I are walking through it together. I'd really like to talk about, we start with the location, right? The three most important things about real estate, location, location, location. Well, it's tough to beat El Pinal. It's super close to King Supers, Safeway, the great schools, Bergen Valley, Bergen Meadow, Evergreen Middle School, Evergreen High School are all really close. Uh, it's got Walgreens right around the corner. There's actually even uh, the park right in El Pinal. So there's the uh, soccer fields, baseball fields, soccer and plus lacrosse. And there's even a playground with slides and monkey bars and things that you shouldn't be touching right now, uh, but we'll be able to hopefully in the near future. And by the way, I apologize for the AirPods, but it's a little windy and I thought the audio quality would be a little bit better. Um, so after we kind of go through the, uh, the location and this being a stellar one, uh, I like to help people recognize that we should look around the outside of the house first before we open up the, the inside because it gives us an idea and, and maybe some indication of how the current owner lives in the house and the levels of maintenance that they do or of course if we see deferred maintenance how we uh, how we act upon that uh, and in this case we can see some really great things uh, so first of all you see a lot of pride of ownership right the driveway's in good shape and spruced up the landscaping nicely in this house you can see a, a lot of the roof and the roof is a three-dimensional composite shingle roof and it's in great shape i always like to look carefully at the the gutters and the downspouts, and in this case, um, whereas some homes you can see a lot of dents or kinking from potential ice dam issues, things like that. In this case, they're square and quality and intact, which is great. And then if you look a little closer, you can see what the owner's done here to create this really nice environment for hanging out right in front of the house. There's a great paving uh, set up, the fire, it's just a, a really nice place to hang out and, and enjoy some sunlight. Just a quiet neighborhood, kick back and relax. Maybe a toast a marshmallow or two. But it, it basically makes a challenging area. So this is sort of north facing and it's in, in the shade a lot. Uh, it takes an otherwise challenging area and turns it into an asset where this is a nice place to hang out. So I also like to look carefully at the siding and, and the windows to get an idea of, of uh, whether there's been a lot of uh, upkeep ongoing or whether there's any issues uh, that we might be able to see before we get sort of attracted to uh, the romance of a great kitchen and a great master bedroom, etc. Cetera, et cetera. And this house, it's board and bat siding. It's a board and bat. This is the board. That's the bat. And relatively fresh paint, right? So sometimes you go through a home and it's sort of bleached out and dry. Uh, in this case, rich, uh, deep paint textures seems like it's in really good shape. So yeah, that's what I like to do on the outside. Talk about the location, talk about the upkeep, the overall architecture. And this house to me is pleasing. It has a steep roof lines, and uh, great color patterns. It's a pretty neat place. So let's go on outside. Um, in the spirit of, uh, of trying to uh, not infect the house or not get infected by a house, I carry a Lysol wipe and then really try not to touch anything as we go. Uh, of course, I've prepared the house by opening the doors. Um, so as we go through, we shouldn't have to touch much. But I always like to talk about the first impression that a house makes. And 30084 Roan 
is a raised range. So the majority of the living in this house is, is all on the main floor. And then uh, it has a, a bedroom, a couple bedrooms downstairs, or just one bedroom downstairs and another bath, and then access to the garage. But for the most part, this is where the living occurs. And some really cool features you can see right away. Great view corridors where you can see out some nicely lit west facing and south facing windows. Uh, and then get a load of the wood floors. Two inch oak wood floors uh, throughout other than the kitchen. And just creates a nice warm sort of honey tone atmosphere. Higher ceilings because it's a ranch floor plan. And, and I call this a tray ceiling with a sort of hip roof. Uh, and it's just a nice effect. Uh, we did start a fire today, but uh, this is a wood burning fireplace and it's surrounded by brick. And uh, by the way, this home was built in 1988. And one of the things I'm always worried about in the homes from 1988 is brass, right? So nice to see that there's no brass uh, there in the fireplace. And you see the hardware on the front door, um, it's an oil rubbed bronze uh, fixture. And uh, I think there's a plan to, to uh, make sure all of the levers are oil rubbed on. There's a traditional layout, right? You've got a, a great living room, really nice dining room open to the kitchen. And then get a load of this kitchen. This is great. Uh, really nice features, especially uh, a recognizable value for this price point. Uh, you've got hard surface countertops, neutral Korean countertops. Uh, I'm a big fan of glass mullions, although I'd have to do some work with my own kitchen to make glass mullions less embarrassing, but uh, you know, really, just a really nice effect, right? And then look at the, uh, get a close up view of the uh, glass brick uh, backsplash. They did a really nice job with that. And then uh, great hood too. This kind of modern looking hood. It really gives a, a nice effect to the kitchen. Newer appliances, a Frigidaire, Frigidaire um, induction range, which is a really cool feature. So I've got smooth surface uh, a cooktop in my house and I really don't like it. But an induction range is completely different uh, where it boils water really fast uh, and then simmers extremely accurately. Um, so the seller, for example, was telling me he, he cooks a lot and doesn't need to use a double uh, boiler to melt chocolates and things like that for confections. It's that accurate where you can just melt things really well and, and uh, cook at a higher level. Uh, you have to be qualified for that. Uh, so otherwise, uh, great stainless steel appliances, undermount sink. I'm a big fan of the, uh, of the little setup here with the uh, faucet. Uh, and then uh, get a load of the view out of the kitchen sink. It's uh, just a, a great spot where you're looking out toward uh, Squaw Mountain and uh, the mountains to the south and west. So this is a, an area that's sort of room for growth, in my opinion. Uh, it's a great home office area. Could be another breakfast nook if you want a, a second uh, eating area. And it's got some closet space, too. And by the way, the, this whole space uh, has ceramic tile flooring, so it's easy cleanup. Let's walk outside real quick. because This is a highlight of, of the house to me. It's this super sunny deck. So we're up pretty high in Elkano, overlooking the whole valley. You can actually see the Evergreen Rodeo Fairgrounds uh, in the Father's Day weekend. That fairground right there, which is browned out right now, uh, ends up being just an awesome event. One of the biggest events in Evergreen with the parade that comes all the way from downtown. It's really neat uh, and lots of fun for everybody. I know uh, I've seen more than one uh, say middle-aged guys and ever uh, try their hand at the, uh, the mechanical bowl there and it's a really bad idea let me tell you anyway what a great view right give a kind of pan across the whole space it's just a it's a really neat spot by the way while we're up here you can actually see out into the yard so this yard's 59 hundredths of an acre so a little over half an acre and uh Nice and grassy, a little on the steep side. I'd say it'd be a, a great uh, sledding hill and, and a, you know, just after a snow event. But um, it's pretty nice, right? Lots of room for dogs and kids and uh, parents to run around.
Let's go back inside. So the flow of this house is just great, right? It, uh, uh, right from the kitchen and the nook, the deck, uh, out through the open area. We've got a secondary bedroom here that, uh, that they've set up as a uh, sort of nursery. Uh, they've got a standard size secondary bedroom with a, a good size wall closet and then uh, another closet on this side. So kind of unique in the sense it has two closets. And then come around this way, go up a couple steps, two steps to the master bedroom. The master bedroom is big, especially in this price range. This is a king size bed with double nightstands, room for another dresser, and then two wall closets. Uh, so well, we like joke that a his and his, uh, the, the her and her closets, and then you know I'd probably get a little stand somewhere over here. Then private access to uh, to the main floor bathroom. Notice the cork floors in there, granite countertop, just a nice setup. It just works. Well, let me run downstairs. We'll show you the, how that lays out, and uh, and that'll cover it. So raised ranch means it has a big footprint for the uh, for the downstairs, but it's a drive under garage. So about half of the space that's upstairs is here. Uh, and it's a walkout basement, so it walks right out to the yard. A nice second family room here. Access to a big two-car garage there. And then I'm not gonna show you the garage today because the uh, owners have a, a home business there, but uh, it has uh, work benches built in and some shelving. It has a great epoxy floor too, so really nice, bright garage. Uh, and then there's a, the third bedroom down here with its own private uh, bathroom. So that's, uh, that's the lower level. Now the, uh, the basement, like I mentioned, the walkout, so it has easy access out to the yard through this slider. Uh, pretty nice setup overall. So that's 30084 Roan Drive. That's gonna come on the market later today, and uh, I'm gonna have a ton of rich media for everybody to uh, really explore the house with lots of full frame photos and uh, Floor plans drawn by professional, the Matterport 3D scan, and uh, uh, of course my Bob's Top 5 video, which is in production right now. Overall, we're gonna have tons of stuff for you to look at to really feel how this home lives, what it looks like, and to see if it's the right answer for you. Of course, you can always give me a call with any questions at 720-273-4262 or visit evergreenrealestate.com. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you following along. Talk to you soon.